What's up, guys? In this episode, I'm just going to go right into it. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to find out what do you guys think AI is going to do or how is it going to play into the metal genre? And I'll tell you something that I've picked up on um, as I kind of dabble doodle over here. So, hold on. <laughs> That is actually my uh, Dietzel Herbert. <laughs> that thing is a monster. Uh, so I'm running guitar. This is my 19, 19, Jesus Christmas. Uh, my 2015 ESP M2 E2 Urban Camo, neck through body, EMGs, 24 volt power um, into my Boss Digital Delay. That's my DD3 into my Dietzel Herbert out to my KSR PA50, to my Mesa 412 cabinet with Celestion V30s. All right, that was a mouthful. So one thing that I kind of learned uh, early on with AI, and this is just me just kind of seeing what happens. So I can play guitar, barely. Um, I dabble in it. But the one thing I could never do is write lyrics. Dude, for the life of me, do not ask me to write lyrics. I'm going to end up talking about a washing machine and how a rug didn't get washed and then put it in the dryer and now it's on a clothesline and now we hate the government. Um, dude, I'm just not good at writing <laughs> lyrics. I, you know, I'm going back to when I was 14. Couldn't, could, could not. Ask me to write a very high-end professional uh, letter. That's another level of the game. I, I can do that, but as far as lyrics go, dude, I'm like a five. I'm like a, a, a five-year-old. Uh, like I just don't know what to talk about. So, because that's always been my issue, uh, is writing lyrics. So every once in a while, I'll go to uh, chat GPT and, and I did it earlier today too, because I knew I was going to have this episode and I just typed in punk rock lyrics. And I forgot what I wrote. It was something like, um, anti-government, anti-corruption, uh, then something like pulling through, right? So I was just like, ah, that's enough. You know, so I hit send and dude, it just started writing these lyrics. It was like, this is the chorus. This is this, you know? So, and I've been doing that for, you know, since kind of chat GPT first kind of started to get a little more recognized. I think at the time it was chat GPT two. And I think a week later it was already at chat GPT three. So, um, so yeah, so if you find that you are a terrible lyricist like I am, that is one way to go about it because, you know, you can write all the music you want, but if you can't write lyrics, you know, sometimes you have to just rely on a singer and you have to hope that they're good at writing lyrics. Uh, and from my experience, uh, the bands that I've been in, I've been lucky enough to work with absolutely incredible bassists, uh, incredible drummers, uh, incredible guitarists, uh, and for the most part, great singers who not only are able to, you know, pull out those brutal notes and, and sing really great, uh, but they're a great 
also at writing lyrics. Uh, with the exception of, you know, a few bands, not a band I was in, uh, but a few bands that I know of that I'm just like, who the hell's writing your lyrics? You know, <laughs> so... Lyrics will definitely let you know where someone's mind is. Um, so, yeah. It's just, I mean, listen to any uh, Metallica song from Kill 'Em All and Ride the Lightning and then compare that to, you know, this latest album, 72 Seasons. You know, there's just a huge difference between the two of them. Um, so, yeah, definitely, you know, you can write. I did a few songs and just started out using chat GPT, uh, which again is AI. And I remember typing in something like hardcore, um, and it was something, you know, same thing growing up in a rough neighborhood. Like I kind of gave it like this overall kind of theme and dude, it just put it all together. Like shockingly, just put it all together. So I remember thinking early on, I'm like, this is going to get a lot of bands to just kind of cheat. And it's not cheating. You know what I mean? Like whatever tools you have, some guys will go ahead and listen to other bands and get their, um, get their motivation from the band, their favorite bands. Sometimes, you know, they'll read something lately in the news and they'll just take topics from here and there. Um, but AI dude, is absolutely for lyrics is nuts. Um, I don't know how far it would potentially go with writing music because I would imagine that AI would have to get to the point where you can describe a genre of mu of music. Let's say in this case, you know, death metal, just to throw a genre out there and, uh, and just, mention something like, you know, um, staccato picking, you know, anything along those lines where you can describe how you want the song to flow and it'll just spit out a song and you just have to copy it and run with it. Um, I'm sure it's eventually going to get to that. And what, do, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Yo, you can already do that with lyrics, bro. If you're in a band or not in a band and you just want lyrics, Yo, go to chat GPT and just go nuts. Test it. You know, like I said, dude, I've been doing it for, for months already. So definitely, you know, because all of a sudden you have these lyrics and if you want, you can have it printed out and you can see or at least have the mindset of how you want the intro. You know, it even tells you this is the outro. This is the... This is the bridge. This is the chorus. And dude, it just paints it all for you. All you have to do is write music around it. So it's real interesting to see the capabilities that it already has. And it's only going to get better now. I, you know, I feel like I'm Buck Rogers. Like I stepped into this year and it's just, I live in the future and I'm lucky enough to have been born in the seventies to remember you know, so many ridiculous things that we have now that we didn't have back then. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely interesting. So let me stop chatting. I'm going to go and just play. You can actually head on out if you want hit stop. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are the best. I'm just going to chill over here and play with my urban camo because I feel like I've, I've just been neglecting it for a while. This is not a Jeff Henneman, uh, but it is the Jeff Henneman Eagles, uh, which are Mother of Pearls, and I just added them right on there. So there you have it. I do have a Jeff Henneman, but it's back there. It's the JS6, the JH600. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Peace. I'm going to go dabble yabble for a bit.
Sayonara. <laughs>